Bahamians in America forewarned phase three activated and tourism officials unveiled their plan moving ahead. Good morning, everyone. I'm Akush Lapinder, and this is your morning edition. Outrage sweeping America in the wake of 46-year-old black American George Floyd's arrest and subsequent death in Minneapolis last Monday with U.S. President Donald Trump now threatening to send in the army to end the civil unrest. The story behind Floyd's death that a white police officer continued kneeling on on his neck even after he pleaded he could not breathe. The officer has since been charged with third degree murder, yet there's deep-seated anger that's come in the form of one protest after another, clashes and widespread looting. Well, in an abundance of caution, the Bahamas Consulate General in New York is advising Bahamians traveling throughout temporarily and permanently living within the U.S. to not be confrontational and always cooperate with the directives and instructions of state and local officials. In the event there is an issue, they're strongly advising to allow consular officers from the Bahamas to deal with the matter. Do not get involved in political or other demonstrations under uh, under any circumstances and avoid crowds. The Bahamas has consular offices in New York, Washington, Miami, and Atlanta, and honorary councils in Los Angeles, Denver, Chicago, and Houston. Meantime, Floyd's independent autopsy indicates that he died of asphyxiation. 